Court documents have revealed some of the most disgusting secrets that Johnson & Johnson has been hiding for decades. Uh, almost, you just can't make stories up like this. First of all, this is a company that's a, it is a criminal enterprise. There's no question in my mind I would call it a criminal enterprise. They've killed thousands of women with cervical cancer. They've known about it for 50 years. They knew the baby powder that they were using had the ability to shut down. Well, it, they, they knew it was carcinogen. They knew it, was, it had asbestos in it. They knew even the powder alone could cause physical injury, even without the asbestos. So women dying all over the country from cervical disease. I'll pick it up from there. This story, you almost could not make this up. This one, when I, when I first saw it, I had thought, okay, this, this isn't real. This is, this is something out of a bad movie with an over-exaggerated plot. Yeah. But it really is not. And building off what you said, they knew that it was carcinogenic. That's why in the 1970s, according to these new unsealed documents, they go to prisons and they say, hey, we need some inmates. So they get a bunch of inmates and they start injecting them with asbestos. They inject them with talc and you know, they see if there's differences here is, is the talc as bad as just straight asbestos injected into these mostly black inmates. Mm -hmm. And again, that's something nobody's going to believe them if you tell that story, you, but this is in their documents. You know what the ugliest part of it is? Their support, their way to defend what they did. They injected asbestos into the body of 10 inmates, African-American inmates. And their response was, you know, the response is, this is a guy named Kligman. Kligman, you know, ran this whole deal. Kligman says, well, at the time, it was just appropriate. We were able to do it from the scientific community. That type of conduct was appropriate. Therefore, we don't understand why you're so upset. <laughs> Literally, we don't understand why you're so upset. Right, and this is the kind of thing that, of course, would remain unknown to the public. One, of course, if you're watching corporate media, you don't know this story. But two, if these lawsuits hadn't come about, so it just makes you wonder, not you, because you see this every day, well, we're yeah. but, but all these folks out there that are watching this and learning about this for the first time, this only got uncovered because they got sued. So okay. think about all these companies out there that aren't being sued what are they hiding in their file cabinets? It's more stuff like this. What, what about these bonehead judges who are saying, we're going to allow you to seal this? I mean, the judge sees it firsthand. The judge sees the criminal conduct from these CEOs firsthand. And he says, you know what? We're just going to seal it up. We're not going to let anybody know about it. And when they do that, the people that are still using the product are at huge risk because they don't know how serious this is. I mean, we, we've got to change the mindset of these judges who believe that they're going to protect the corporation. We're going to seal this up to where nobody knows about it. this story, sealing up a story where the company goes out and injects a cancer causing element into the bodies of 10 African-American prisoners because at the time, it was scientifically appropriate. Right, and we, we didn't break any you know laws no. doing that, but also not just the judge who says we're gonna seal it, but how about the judge who says, we're gonna let you declare bankruptcy, even though you pulled in a couple billion dollars this past oh, year, Lord. you're still bankrupt, yeah. so you can no, avoid liability. The, uh, this is a $400 billion, $400 billion company that a New York judge who has never done anything for consumers, who's always been on the other side of consumers. If you go to New York and you're in bankruptcy court and you're not a corporation, you're dead in the water. This guy came up through the corporate system, never represented corporate, never represented consumers at all, always represented corporations, and he allows them to declare bankruptcy while women are dying by the hundreds all over this country because of the toxic product that Johnson & Johnson created. Well, and, and it, it, it's so devastating because obviously the co uh, company is not bankrupt. All that's going to do is reduce the amount that these families, the survivors, are going to yeah. be able to get. And, and that's just how this system is rigged in favor of these corporations. Yeah. Th this is how the justice system in the U.S. works. And if we don't highlight it, people don't understand how bad it really is. Yeah.